Hello everyone, today we're going to work on this Kato uh, GS4 and it's missing um, the smoke box front. So we're going to make our own parts uh, with no 3D printer. So this is part of my box of bad locos and uh, it wasn't working because the hockey sticks in the tender uh, were out of place. So if you want to see how I did that, I'll put a link to that video uh, where I fixed that in the end screen. So you can go ahead and go back and watch that. I got some parts from Kado. I got the smoke box front. I got a second smoke box front just to offset the cost of shipping. I get a whole bunch more parts when I order from Kado. I have an RSC2 I want to change into an RS2 so I got the parts for that and I got uh, some more F7 stuff because I always have F7s I want to fix and then let's see what I got I got some couplers I use these couplers already I use some on my PA1 so it's nice to have extra couplers around uh, let's open this up now you can get uh, that part from Kado directly but there's a little glass part that goes inside and that is unobtainium they also give you the little handrail that comes with the smoke box front so I'm gonna be uh, installing that uh, off camera Yes, so uh, today's lesson, we're going to be making our own parts. We're missing the little glass part that goes inside there. Uh, I use um, UV resin to do that. And I've got my donor engine. This is uh, another GS4 I bought seven years ago. And I take really, really good care of this. I really love this engine and you can see uh, i kept all the plastic parts that manage the uh, the engine in the box always really careful when i handle this so uh this engine i also bought the nice uh, passenger cars that go with it and i built my layout out of the display track that comes with the passenger cars so I only had to buy a couple of curve tracks to build the layout. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the smoke box front. And then remove the little uh, plastic uh, transparent part. So we have to remake uh, this part. So the method that I'm using, I'm using um, UV resin to do that. And I make the mold with some hot glue. So that has worked before. This is the UV resin that I use. If you want to buy one, I'll put a link to my website so you can go ahead and get some of that. Also you need a mold release agent to do that. This is the mold release agent that I have. It's a baby oil. It's easy to remove with some uh, dish soap so it doesn't damage the parts. If it's gentle enough for a baby, it's gentle enough for your paint and your plastic. So I've tried this before, it works well. If you don't have a mold release agent, you can't remove, uh, because we're using hot glue to make the mold, it's glue, you won't be able to remove it. So that's an important step. So I'm going to apply some of the baby oil on my part that I want to uh, make the mold. It's an important step to not forget. And then while I'm doing that, I'm warming up my hot glue gun. That actually, I don't work too often with the hot glue, but it, uh, it works quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some uh, hot glue everywhere so I can make my mold. 
and the hot glue actually cools down pretty quickly it's a time effective effective uh, thing so i have to wait it may be two minutes for it to cool down now i've got to remove the uh, my good part from the mold and that is going to be returned uh, right back to my good uh, my donor gs4 and you can remove the baby oil with some dish soap now i've got my mold ready i have to put some more um, baby oil so that when i have my part completed i can remove it from the mold um, the uv resin also is glue i think part of it is epoxy so uh definitely it's going to be hard to remove from the mold but uh, this process it works for me i've used it before in fact there's a nice video where i introduced that i'll put a link to that in the description where i introduced that but uh, i've used that before with success so i just put some uv resin in the mold I like to use a toothpick. I find that that works best. And then we're going to put that under the UV light. It takes about five minutes for it to, uh, to solidify. And then I've got a nice part. Now we can remove that part from the mold and insert it into the new smoke box front. that so how do you guys like this that looks pretty good just give you a little close-up of it looks almost like new I'm pretty happy with that so let's put it on the engine and we're almost all done looks brand new and now it's time to run some trains all aboard the video I certainly had fun making it for you see you soon